films at Hollywood hot spots or making the scene in cool cat films like Swingers, a Maid, and Clay Pigeons. My guest tonight has made a career out of exuding confidence, like I have pretending I have. And hey, please welcome Vince Vaughn, ladies and gentlemen. Vince. Good to see. Good to um, see you, man. I want to say congratulations. See you on a great run, man. Thank you, baby. Fan Beautiful of, yours. of you. That's truthful, and, and as a fan of yours, I've enjoyed you. And, and uh, uh, you know, I think uh, I've always enjoyed references and stuff, and, and, and the things that you've done. And it's funny. It's like when you're in high school, you sort of pick on kids that are smarter than you and stuff. Because I know I did that because I didn't know anything, you know. So you sort of make fun of the kids that didn't know stuff. And it's like I think it's strange that like you always reference things and bring things up. And and then people make it like that's a bad thing to do. They have like a, a, a good knowledge about stuff and, and, and things like that. So anyway, for me, I've enjoyed you, and I hope you don't stay uh, away too long, Tom. All right, let's see. Now what, uh, thank you. You say You like the way Miller does it? He's like, let's get off the sappy shit. It's the last show. Let's ah, get to the stuff. See. And I now, like that. Listen, you yeah. always exude confidence, and I'm wondering, were you raised that way? What, what, what did your parents, did you they really believe this, in I'm, you? I'm flattered you asked that. No, honestly. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I always think it comes more from, from being nervous about failing than it does from confidence. I mean, I think being cocky or putting something on is different than confidence. And you really only get confident in something from, from doing it a lot, and that means failing a lot and not doing well at it uh, and loving it enough or caring about it enough to keep, you know, trying at it. So... I think, you know, for me, always motivated more from fear, I think, than, than uh, uh, and hating that feeling so you would work harder at something so you didn't feel that yeah, way. Yeah, I've always been scared shitless, too. You're one one step ahead of the posse is yeah. the way I look at it. Yeah. What, um, as, your, as your confident manner in God, you're going to be marked for life by, you know, the first time people were aware of you. It was that brilliant portrayal of Swingers, and I'm, you're going to be thought of as that guy in many ways your whole career and I'd say, I happen to think that's a good thing I think you'll do great work in addition to that but right. that basic bedrock implant is always going to be in people's head now do you suffer that in the public do people come up to you all the time when you and Buscemi are in that bar is that some guy coming up thinking no. he's just, you're that guy no well, that wasn't that I mean you do have that to some degree uh, as far as the, the perception as a guy from swingers but but that perception is more like you know you have people come up and sort of, you know, want to buy you a shot, which is nice, but you can't do 20 shots a night, you know what I mean? And so like, when you're like, yeah, okay, I'll do the shot, great, great times, high five, fantastic. And then what happens is like, you can't do any more shots, so you're like, you know, man, thank you for the shot, and then you like, what, are you too good to drink with me, guy? You know what I mean? No, not too good to drink with you, man, just not in the mood for my ninth shot tonight, you know what I mean? So you can have that happen to you, sure, but I've always been lucky for the most part that people have always been, you know, uh, very complimentary, very nice to me and stuff, but... But you do sometimes, you know, I think probably more people on television, I think, get more of a perception of themselves. You always hear, like, people on soap operas and stuff, like, you know, uh, I think Lucci or whatever played bad bad characters, and people would come up and be like, you bitch, I can't stand the way you treat him, and, you know. People said this to Lucy? I, I, no, Lucci. So oh, Lucci. Lucci. <laughs> the only ones that said that, you know, but, Jesus yeah. Christ, I always thought she was adorable. I did, too. I love, I love Lucy. <laughs> I love Lucy. <laughs> I'm so confident, I don't care how the interview's going right now. Do you know what I mean? And you can't teach that. You can't learn that. I'm going to that. That's why I wanted you on the last show, because I remember the first time you were on, you pissed on me a little. And I, I did not. That. I knew coming Just in, I was like, you know, it's cool. the last show, so I better kiss his ass no, in front. Because yeah. yeah. he's going he's gonna to come after me. And now I don't give a shit. I want to find out. <laughs> Last show, last show, whatever, man. You got something on your mind? You know what I mean? You're confidently upset at me. I, I don't know. <laughs> but why is this thing even confidence? You know what I mean? I feel like I feel Miller's going to spin this to like a, some, some uh, like a children's tape too. Confident, being confident, the good lesson. You're going to send everyone off with a good fucking lesson. Why are you going to send them off with a good lesson? Do you know what I mean? And that, I think we should we should talk about table matters and where they came from and like in a whole set. You know, when people usually used to shake hands. They would do it like this to show they were unarmed. You know what I mean? Right. Now it's evolved into a whole other thing that we don't have time to do. But yeah, you know, now, those dinosaurs weren't there. You were in front of a blue screen, right? I was confident that I could portray the fact that they were there, Dennis. <laughs> and you can't learn that somewhere, man. You know what I mean? I'm not going to be by the watering hole shaking. I'm going to be one of the guys that you said that, like, buys the black Mercedes and, you know, does the things in prison. I'm not sure, you know. <laughs> All right, now, uh, you seem smooth to me with the opposite sex. You go up to a woman, what if she's more confident than you? You dig that, or do you I flee from that? I make her feel bad about herself. 
break on that it down words. like Lou Gossett Jr. and an officer and a chick. Until they cry, I got nowhere else to go. I don't even ask him to go home. <laughs> They're like a little deer. I was like, yeah, like a little deer, like swingers. <laughs> They'll never leave me. I'll go on and do great work, but that one's going to stick What's around. What's wrong with loving swingers, man? I watched I that swingers. with Jeff Bridges. I, I remember looking at him thinking, who the f I said to Jeff, who the fuck is this kid? He's well, incredible, I'm proud, man. I'm proud of swingers. I'm proud of swingers. It's a fun movie, and and, uh, and working with Favreau and Maid and, and everything. I'm proud of I'm proud of it. But, uh, but uh, yeah, I like to make girls feel real bad about themselves, you know? And if, if they have a bad relationship with their dad, that's great. <laughs> That always helps, you know, and, uh, uh, yeah, you know. What are you working on now, Big Kahuna? Are you still with my brother, Jimmy? I am with Jimmy. Beautiful. Jimmy's a great man. How's he working out for you? He's great. Jimmy's the best. Yeah, he's good people, right? He's great people. He tells, great you people. The, he tells the truth, doesn't he, for the most part? My little brother's his manager. Yeah, he does. He does. It's so weird does. to watch your brother yeah, become funny. a player. It's funny talking to, to Jimmy on the phone because they sound alike. Yeah. You guys sound alike. I'm sure you hear but that. He sounds bald on the phone. See? <laughs> He is bald, but on the phone, he's so fucking confident, I feel like the guy's got, like, hair down to here. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Honest to God. Honest to God. I was like, this guy's got to, got to have a gorgeous head of hair. Yeah, it, was the you him. it wasn't the confidence. And when I met him, I was like, wow. <laughs> That's his confidence. You, know you can't learn that anywhere. Oh, God. It grows into his brain, his hair. Yeah. He's got a full head of hair. Yeah. It's inside the head. Yeah. And now, it, what part are you playing it, 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 here, it, it, man? I, I'm a, what, what part with the hair am I yeah, playing? What are you doing here this with the Vanna check, cut. George is, Papard cut? What was the thing you said when I came out that you thought I was going to be what in Rent? You and Richard uh, Gere were doing Bent. That's no, right. don't you remember that play? Yeah. That? But I did, I did a movie that comes out in January called Old School with Will Ferrell, who's also a client of Jimmy's, and Luke Wilson. It's a comedy for DreamWorks. Will Ferrell's very funny. And then... Uh, Ferrell, was he, is he scared shitless about leaving the show? You know, I think he was excited. I think he felt like he was there for a long time. Well, you know better he's than anybody. He's got great chops. Yeah, he's and got great chops, and I think he did everything he could. And, you know, as a fan, I'm excited to see him do movies. He's great in this movie. You know? yeah, what what is it, a comedy? It's a comedy, yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Start off that way. <laughs> you never know how it turns out. Uh, we got a phone call for you. Line three, we've got Brian from Atlantic Beach, New York. Brian? Hey. Brian, hey, you got to talk quicker than that. You, you, you got to show some confidence. That's the thing. If that's a great point, and I want to know one thing. I want to know what you guys think. I mean, this trust is, is the basis of confidence, right? Now, how come on the show... The Listen, you just can't say it like with a grunt in your might, voice and you, think you it means something. You might want to be calling into a different show that helps with problems, Brian. You know, I mean, this is... I don't know if, I, I don't know if we can tackle those issues tonight. But I'm proud of you, and I'm proud that you called. <laughs> In line four, we got Victor from Manhattan Beach. Vic? Hey, Dennis. Uh, we're going to miss you, man. All hey, right. this is it help? I don't know who the fuck you are, man. All right. Uh, <laughs> no, screw that. Do you think baseball players lost confidence in themselves and or the fans when they didn't go on strike? I'm just glad they didn't. I really don't give a shit anymore. Really? Man. I wanted them to go on strike. Really? Didn't you? Yeah, I wanted them face down in the gutter because they, they're fucking the game up, man. Well, I think it's a bigger problem than just the players, though. I mean, I think the whole thing's way out of control. And it's like now you're trying to solve it, but the problems are... We're going to have this problem again in Four a couple years. years. It's hence. impossible. And it's going to be it's uglier gonna then. It's going to continue. So I'm just happy that the game's going on for now. Well, I, I like I said, I think a drunk's got to be face down in the gutter, and I think baseball's a uh, Reeling, stumbling around. It's on. What's your favorite to follow sports wise? Um, I like the curling. Do you? <laughs> Do you curl your own? Do you curl yourself? No, but uh, that might be my next show. I'm going to pitch celebrity Not curling. Not a show, but you could. You could. That's something you could get in shape uh, for and really make a run. I for. know they get I that mean, groove you out there. It. You could stop talking to people. You could stop talking to people and really get really get into it and like compete and like find out new whole new confidence, self confidence. <laughs> I knew you were gonna beat the shit out of me with well, that I, topic. It's I needed something to hang it off. Confidence, for confidence, sake. confidence. I don't I know. Fun confidence. Yeah, that's it. That was good. I don't have any confidence right now. With the arms folded, you're saying something different than I'm what your body's saying. I'm saying hold me. I'm saying hold me. That's what you're I'm saying. Nine but your years I've had a place else. here. They kicked me out onto the street. I'm scared, Vince. You're not hold scared. me. You're not scared. I'll hold you. <laughs> You asked me to hold oh, you. I was, you asked me to hold you. Yeah. That's not weird. I was scared. Uh, I wanted you to hold me. Right. I was scared I'd get a boner. I wanted right. you to stop holding me. Don't be scared. Don't uh, be scared. <laughs> All right, Benny. Well, I you, appreciate you coming hey, appreciate on, man. Huh? You're my last guest. Well, I'm flattered to be here. Yeah? Well, it's good to be here. Good man. Vince Vaughn, ladies and gentlemen.